Lana here, welcome back to Lana Summer Summertime. On this channel, I talk about how to get your best curls and your best life. So, if that sounds like something you'll be interested in, then subscribe and turn on your notifications. Today's video is, of course, a hair video. This is actually a hair product review video. So, the way that these products came into my life was Kismet. First of all, I get a comment asking me if I can review them. Haven't really seen the curl brand. Then I'm at the supermarket like two days later and I see the brand right there in front of me and I'm like, huh then about a week after that the brand emails me asks me if i want to make this video i'm like that's fate right there like i have to say yes i have to make this video if you guys are familiar with my does lana like it series this is one of those does lana like it let's find out first things first let me just show you the range i cannot believe that i did not know that creatins were making curly hair products when you look at the size of the range oh see this Okay, this isn't working like this. It's the range for me, honestly. We need to discuss it. Just tell me in the comment section whether you've ever heard of Creighton's The Coal Company, whether you've ever tried Creighton's The Coal Company. <laughs> Especially those of you in the UK because this is a UK brand. This is made in England And now I actually feel really bad for not having tried them before. I have got high hopes already I'm just gonna do a quick run through of these products I kind of need to figure out what I'm gonna use and there is so much here to choose from There's just one shampoo and one conditioner. These are both sulfate free Conditioner is silicone free. All of the products in this range are cruelty free And as far as I can tell all of the products are created with their professional cold which is trademarked. The Colplex obviously is giving me kind of Olaplex vibes. Everybody raves about Olaplex. So Colplex sounds good. It sounds like specified towards curls. So the Colplex is a blend of Moringa oil and Meadow Foam seed oil. It does say on the back whether they work best for waves or curls or coils or waves and curls or curls and coils. <laughs> so this is their deep conditioning mask. And then all of this is styling products. Does anybody want to count how many styling products there are? Because I actually haven't counted. There's the Cole Cream Styling Cream Gel, Cole Lotion, Cole Reviving Styling Spray, Cole Defining Leaving Conditioner, the Hold and Body Foaming Mousse, the Anti Humidity Cole Gel. Oh my god! So there's a lot. We'll try a bunch of different combinations and we'll see which one works best. That's the whole point of a little review video like this. I'm here to put myself through it so that you don't have to. So this is what my hair looks like right now. This is gonna take some work. <laughs> So obviously the first thing that I'm going to use is the shampoo. Let's do this. Ooh, for sulfate free, that actually has a lot of blood on it. And it smells good too. And get really in there and cleanse my scalp. So the next thing that I'm going to use is the deep conditioning curl mask. I'm going to skip the conditioner completely because I don't know about you guys, but I always just use one conditioner at a time. I'm actually just dolloping that on my hair. I should maybe have sectioned it or something. I wanted to get this on my hair while my hair was still soaking wet. I do also want to detangle my hair while I have this on. Hopefully this gives us a lot of slip. Ah. Oh, my hair doesn't want a section. It's too tangled. <laughs> just put some more conditioner on it and you'll be good so my hair was really tangled but that conditioner actually did a pretty good job at helping me detangle and get through all of my hair so now i can run a comb through it that is pretty good i'm gonna bundle all of my hair up i'm gonna put a cap on it and i'm gonna leave this deep conditioner to work for one hour and then i'll try out some other products i still haven't decided exactly what i'm gonna use quick review of this i'm really liking it so far this is definitely up there competing with some of my favorite products so far the slip was amazing the smell is so nice it's like one of those really relaxing scents i really like it it has some great ingredients it's cruelty free like it's ticking all of my boxes so far but obviously i can't really judge it until after we've seen the results so yeah let's just wait and see Okay, so believe it or not, I've had this on for over an hour now. Right now, my hair feels so soft. I wish you could feel it right now. All I can do is just like hold it up and show you. Yeah, just believe me, it feels so soft and smooth right now. It feels so moisturized. 
beautiful. <laughs> like any of that roughness that I had, like, you know, sometimes your hair feels rough after you shampoo it. None of that. It's just so smooth, slippery. It feels very healthy, which is exactly what I want when I deep condition. So that's a very good sign. So I'm going to go and rinse this off and then we can choose a styling product. <laughs> Oops, I cut all my hair off. I'm kidding. You know at the start when I said it's the range for me? Well, yeah, it's still the range for me, but now how do I choose which styling products I'm gonna use? It's impossible. I knew exactly what to do, but in a much more real sense, I had no idea what to do. I've basically come up with a plan to test as many of the styling products as I can in one video. On one side, I'm just gonna go with what I presume is an all-in-one. It's the Soften Shape Co Lotion. So this is gonna go all on one side on wet hair. Can I just say, my hair feels so clean, yet so moisturized and strong right now. This is a dream, this is lovely. I'm gonna separate my hair and I'm gonna go straight in with the Co Lotion. Quite runny in consistency. It has this kind of transparency to it. Glides along the hair and moves around the hair really well. And it seems like you don't really need that much. So I'm going to use a little bit less on these top layers. So in my head, I'm already imagining that this is going to be similar to the Cantu Moisturizing Curl Activating Cream. If you know the product that I'm talking about, then you know that that's kind of like an all-in-one product. You don't need anything else with it. And that's kind of what I'm imagining for this. I'm just going to do some of the top layers of that with the Denman. I'm not going to do my whole head with the Denman because I feel like that creates a lot of tangles. So I'm going to do just some. Very squelchy. Back of this curl lotion that I've just put on this side, it does say that it's best for waves and curls, whereas the curl cream is actually for curls and coils. So I feel like that's much more towards type four hair and possibly three B and three C. I'm back again after re-wetting this side because I want to put the conditioner in. However, on here it says smooth onto dry or damp curls and style as usual. However, the advice that I have from somebody who works with the brand is to put this on very wet hair. So my hair right now is very wet. So I'm gonna try it like that. That makes more sense to me too. That makes my hair extremely easy to comb through and brush through. My hair on this side feels extremely soft now with that leave-in conditioner on. I do obviously like my hair to feel soft, but I know that when it dries, soft hair can tend to go a bit fluffy. So I don't really want fluffy hair. Let's just do some demo brushing right now. Okay, so at the moment we are curl lotion and we are leave-in conditioner. So the last product that I'm gonna use on this side is the curl cream. The lotion has a bit more of like a thin gel consistency, whereas this cream is like definitely creamy. So I'm actually just gonna scrunch that into my hair. That's all of the products that I'm gonna put in my hair. I honestly feel like I ended up putting too much, but that's how my curls are looking. You know what? This looks like it's gonna be a good result, right? Right? This looks promising. Okay, I'm excited. So I'm gonna plop my hair. I did this the other day and I had amazing results. So I'm gonna do that with my hair right now. Wait a minute. I want you to know that I appreciate you so much and I'm so thankful for you being here and I wanna give back to you in any way that I can. So I'm really happy to say that the Coal Company and I have arranged a giveaway for you. So if you would like to be in with a chance of winning this range of products, then just follow the link in my description. I'm also gonna link this on Instagram as well. So if you wanna get me over on there, then that's at Lana Summer. All you need to do to enter the giveaway is just make sure that you are following me here on YouTube and on Instagram. Just enter using the link in the description box and leave a comment down below to let me know that you've entered. That's it. You don't need to post anything, not on your stories, not on your feed. I don't want to see anybody making a giveaway account just to post. You know, we're not about that life. I just want genuine entries and I just want to be able to give back to my genuine supporters. And I will be announcing the giveaway winner in a week's time. So a week after this video goes up, that's when it's going to close and that's when the giveaway winner is going to be announced. And also don't worry if you don't win the giveaway because I have got you covered with a discount code and it's for quite a lot so the code is Lana20 and that's going to get you 20% off at thecoalcompany.com. I'm really just trying to have you covered in every way that I can think of. Let's crack on with the video. I want to see these results. I'll just be honest. I prefer this side. I'm not sure if you can even tell the difference. So this side was the cold lotion by itself and this side had leave-in conditioner and cold cream. So let me know what you think. 
but I just prefer this side. I feel like this side had a lot of definition, a lot of curl separation. Whereas this side, I feel like the curls, it kind of clumped together more, which I know is sometimes a good thing, but I think it caused me to have a little bit less volume on this side. Like I don't have a lot of volume anyway, but I'm gonna pick everything. I don't know. I just feel like the definition is a bit different and I just prefer this side. So they also said that you can use the cream gel for a little bit of edge control, which I think I might do just to finish this up. Otherwise it's gonna look a little bit messy. These results, like my hair is elongated. Like I do feel like I could pick up a little bit of volume, but then to be fair, my hair is not 100% dry, but my hair is defined. The curls have got a lot of separation in them. They feel soft, they feel moisturized. My hair has got like so much more length than what it had with my last wash and go. Like a lot of you guys last time were saying that I cut too much of my hair off when actually I cut a tiny amount off. It just looked really short with that wash and go. But you know, it turns out different every single time. This time my length came back. So if you want some kind of like lengthening products, like stretching products, I think these work really well. So I guess in answer to the question, does Lana like it? The answer is yes. <laughs> Lana likes it very much. <laughs> okay, stars of the show. This one right here even won awards. Like, have I been living under a rock or something? They were the Hair Awards winner 2016. The line is amazing. I'm so happy that I finally found it. I definitely think I'm gonna find some new holy grails amongst this. That's a new holy grail already. That's the Coal Lotion. So if you have hair like mine, sort of 3B, 3A, 2C, then that is gonna work wonders for you. But if you want something with a little bit more hold, then check out the Coal Cream and the Styling Cream Gel, which is also what I used for my edges just now. And do you know what? That has done a really nice job on my edges too. I feel very secure. You can't get rid of me. Please thumbs up the video if you liked it. Also subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any more videos from me. Also get me on Instagram for the blessings and the breakdowns. Don't forget to check the links in the description box. I'd love your suggestions for which videos I should film next. Anything for the Lana Likes It series, the Lana Looks At series, and anything else that you can suggest down below. I would love that. <laughs> I'll stop rambling now and I'll be off. Bye.